Hello, Cancer. What is going on? Welcome to your October love reading. Hope you guys are doing well. So we're going to take a look at Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cancer for love for October. If this one resonates, the link to the extended reading is below. where You can check out how your person feels about you. If it doesn't hit home, check out your moon or your rising sign. All right, Cancer, let's see what love looks like for you in October. How you guys doing? All right, let's do it. What happened in your recent past? What do we have? We have the Nine of Pentacles. All right. What's going on right now? What's the current energy? The Ten of Cups in reverse. There's your water energy. What's on your person's mind that you're thinking about? The King of Wands in reverse. Leo Sag, Aries. What does this person think of you? The world. All right, Major Arcana number 21. What is going on in their emotions? How do they feel about you deep down? Temperance, some of you are definitely dealing, connecting, whatever, with the Sagittarius, with that King of Wands, Temperance. All right, we'll see. All right, how does this person wanna move forward with you? What are their intentions? The Page of Cups. So if you've broken up with someone, you're just on a break, you're just curious about someone, all right, this is how they would feel about reconciling, but if you're already connecting with them, this is how they see the two of you moving forward. What's coming in that you don't see? So in the hidden factors, you've got the Four of Swords, Libra and Energy. What's Spirit's advice, Cancer? What do they want you to do? The Nine of Wands, maybe protect yourself a little bit. Be on guard. What's the outcome in love, Cancer, for October? You've got the Hermit, Major Arcana for Virgo. All right, Cancer, what is up? Hey, y'all do me a favor. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments. Um, anything that you need to know about this reading, my channel, my website, all of that is below. You can book a private reading if you'd like on my website. So all of that will be in the description box below and in the comment section. Ooh, Cancer, ooh, Ace of Wands, Two of Cups. All right, are you feeling it for someone? They're feeling it for you. All right, Cancer, let's see. So clarify this bad bitch of a reading for Cancer. There's the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So when I was doing my pre-shuffling, I did the uh, Queen of Cups did fall out of the deck, which is your energy, male or female. So just FYI. All right, Cancer, what does love look like? I'm using the Light Sears Tarot for your uh, clarifiers here. What does Cancer need to know? What's coming in for Cancer in love for October? Nine of Pentacles in the recent past, so just concentrating on your independence, right? Your coin, nurturing yourself, your job, that kind of thing. Right now, I think a lot of you feel like you're not going to find that happily ever after with that Ten of Cups in reverse. You know, even if you're with somebody, I'm getting that this is very much an energy of um, Cancer having a crush on someone, someone having a crush on Cancer, I'm not getting like full-blown relationship here, but I see that it, it could possibly move in that direction. That's the energy I'm feeling. Why is this Nine of Pentacles here in the past for Cancer and the Page of Wands in reverse? So the Page of Wands in reverse, yeah, it's a lack of communication or it's some sort of bad news coming in, that kind of thing, right? You've got that fire energy, Leo, Sag, Aries, but it's also not really feeling like the zest for dating or getting out there, taking action, feeling the passion. So again, I think a lot of you have just kind of been on your own for a little while here and, you know, getting a little bit frustrated. Why is the Ten of Cups here in reverse presently for Cancer? What is it, Cancer? What's this Ten of Cups in reverse? The Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah. So if you guys are feeling it for someone, or again, those of you that are still single, you kind of feel like you're not gonna get that person. You're not gonna have that energy, that happily ever after. If you have a specific person on your mind, you're like, oh, they won't like me back, or it'll never work, or I'm getting that vibe here. Cancer. I feel an energy here for you but I feel as though, again, it's kind of like a crush or, or something that you feel like just can't happen. That two of cups in reverse is, I'm not gonna find my soulmate. Now, some of you um, have already, you know, you recently broke up with somebody in the past or you were taking a break or something like that. And so now there's this energy of a breakup or of a, you know, two people not offering that cup. 
seen eye to eye on an emotional basis and I think it's left a lot of you sad or a little bit depressed because you feel like, you know, the, again, those of you that are single, this is, I want that happiness. I want the marriage, the family, the, you know, emotional satisfaction. Cancer, it'll come, it'll come for you. On your mind is the king of wands in reverse, Leo, Sagittarius energy usually, and the nine of swords, this is what's on their mind. So the person that you're thinking about, if you're completely single, this is like the next energy or the person you're on a break from or something like that. You've got somebody in your energy here in October and what's on their mind is not being able to take action. So again, is this like a connection you have with someone and for some reason you can't be together and it's causing some sadness? They're worried too. But the king of wands in reverse it doesn't have to be a fire sign. That king of wands in reverse is... I don't feel confident in something or I can't take action, but whatever that is on their mind, Cancer, and they don't have to be a fire sign. The King of Wands in reverse is just not confident that he or she can make something happen, but it's causing them some anxiety and worry and fear. Why? Why is the Nine of Swords on this person's mind? Because of the Six of Swords. Could be that you're at a distance from this person physically, you know, mentally, emotionally, whatever. What's the Six of Swords? The world in reverse. But they're not, this isn't done for them. Like they can't, they're not letting this go, whatever this blockage is. Something is not attainable or they feel like they can't take action towards you. But I know that they have feeling and I know they want to because that Nine of Swords is on their mind. There's that worry and that anxiety. I'm also getting with that Six of Swords in the world in reverse that they want to leave whatever barrier this is behind and complete a cycle with you, but a good cycle, like almost to the next phase. This is kind of like Romeo and Juliet type shit. Okay, so how do, what do they think of you? The, now, they think of you as the world in the upright with justice. Maybe you're connecting with a Libran. Two major arcana. They, they view you as, you know, wanting to, again, the world can be a soulmate card. It's like completion. It's like, I found my person. It doesn't have to just be an ending, you guys. Not with justice there. This person thinks of you or views you as wanting to like settle down and get married at some point. It doesn't have to be to them, but the world is, I've completed a cycle. I don't have to look any further. This is my person. This is my world. And with justice, this is a decision. There's an energy about you that they know, or at least they view you as completing them. Them completing you. How do they feel about you? Temperance and the Eight of Wands. This is how they feel about you deep down. So with temperance, this is divine timing. This is being patient. This is somebody that has a very calming effect. And again, those of you who are like, Hell, I'm single. Okay, well, remember, this is October and maybe even moving a little bit of out of October. This is a very calm, you know, very patient person. They want to compromise. They want to cooperate. And with that eight of wands and their emotions, there's the passion. There's some sort of change. I can feel it all over this reading that they want. It could be travel with the eight of wands. But they feel very, very drawn to you. Why are they the king of wands in reverse? What's it, why are they not feeling confident? What's this king of wands in reverse? The seven of wands. For me, the seven of wands is fighting for something that you want. It's walking your own path. It's being a little bit guarded and defensive. But in this particular deck, it's more about shutting out the outside world and doing what you're determined to do. I get whatever this is, it's a big deal. With the pages here, for some of you, this is a newer connection or even somebody that you've been friends with for a while, but feelings are starting to be, you know, people are starting to have feelings 
or maybe you're even starting to kind of slowly communicate those feelings. But it could be, again, somebody that is um, unattainable at this point for some reason. How do they see moving forward with you, Cancer? The Page of Cups, Pisces Energy, and the Two of Pentacles. That Two of Pentacles is a decision. It's like kind of going back and forth because you have to you know, juggle. You have to balance a lot. You have to get your feet on the ground here. So moving forward with that page of cups, there's that kind of flirting, that daydreaming, that offer. And that's, that was the feeling I'm getting too. Like, oh my God, I, I'm realizing I have these feelings for cancer. Wouldn't it be great if we could be together? But they live 500 miles away. But, you know, I'm married. Or, but, you know, there's like this something in the way. And so they kind of go back and forth. What's this two of pentacles moving forward? And the queen of swords in reverse. Libra energy. What's this Queen of Swords in reverse? Why do they feel this moving forward with Cancer and the Fool in reverse? I feel like that Queen of Swords, believe it or not, I feel like that Queen of Swords is you, is your energy. I think a lot of you have been hurt in the past. There's some, like, some intimacy issues, not intimacy issues, but like fear. That Queen of Swords in reverse has been really hurt. And this person feels like you won't take that risk, that you're still maybe healing from something. You sort of have this barrier up with this person. Cancer. I think that they want to offer you that cup, that page of cups, that emotion, that kind of dreamy feel, right? Following one's dreams. I think actually they see you as the two of pentacles moving forward. And that you won't take that leap of faith with them. Now, what's being hidden? What's coming in that you don't see? You've got a four of swords. What's this about? And the eight of cups. All right, let's clarify that again. Why is the four of swords with the eight of cups here in the hidden factors for cancer? High priestess. Major for Pisces. This is, you know, kind of withdrawal. It's, it's needing a minute, right? It's trying to get your thoughts together and just kind of being on your own for a little bit, resting, recovering, recuperating. I feel like this Eight of Cups isn't necessarily you walking away from the connection anymore. I think this is you leaving your past in your past with the High Priestess being closed off. Of course, super intuitive, and you are, Cancer. What's this High Priestess? And the Nine of Pentacles, yeah. Yeah. You're shutting your emotions off to somebody here, Cancer. I think this is you. I don't think that this is them. But because of your past or because of some sort of, um, you know, fear of intimacy or self-sabotage or something like that, there's a connection here with someone and they don't feel like you want them or that you can make it happen for some reason. And it's because in the hidden factors, they're still healing and very closed off and just kind of doing your own thing, Nine of Pentacles. Now remember, this is just advice. You can change the outcome. Why is the Nine of Wands your advice from Spirit? Because of the Seven of Swords, yeah. See, this was done to you. This is not the person. I don't, I don't think it's the person I'm pulling in here. This Nine of Wands is Spirit telling you, yeah, we get it. You're tired. You're on guard. Like, you're fearful. That Nine of Wands can be fear. But stand tall. Persevere. Move forward. Be strong. You know, continue on the battle. And this is what you're defending yourself against, the Seven of Swords. Why the Seven of Swords? Temperance in reverse. See, there's healing that still needs to take place, Cancer. There's an imbalance in emotions. And again, this could be from somebody that you've already dealt with, obviously, but I'm reading an energy here of somebody who's interested in you throughout October. Again, it could be a friend where the feelings are going to be thrown out there, right? Or they're starting to kind of build or something like that, but they're getting this energy that, that they're almost going to be afraid to communicate once they communicate any further because they feel like they're going to get shut down. That's what this is. They're going to feel like you don't want them. I'm not saying it. I'm just reading it. Now, the outcome has the hermit, sign of Virgo. So why is the hermit the outcome for cancer in October and the four of cups? 
complacency, a little bit, rejection. That hermit energy is you pulling away from this person and not really kind of just needing a minute, like wanting to be in solitude a little bit and do your own thing. But there's a person here who is going to feel a bit rejected because of that. Because I do believe that they want to give you that cup of emotion, but there's something here and that can't, that water, those cups are your emotions, cancer, that watery energy. It doesn't mean forever. It's just October, but there's an energy. I can totally see you. It's very protective energy. It's very protective energy, Cancer. So be on the lookout for that. Don't self-sabotage. I mean, take all the time you need, but just be careful, right? That you aren't completely pushing away somebody who could be a really good part of your life. Now, in the extended reading, we'll see how they're going to react to all of this. We'll see what's really going through their thoughts and their emotions and how they're going to be moving forward through October. All right, Cancer, I love you hard. Love me hard back, and we'll speak soon. Take care.